Hello everyone, Killing for Money here bring you a tutorial on how to use CryEngine 3's Sandbox. Uh, this first tutorial we're going to start off by making just a simple hill, I guess. This will be the basics of the terrain generator. No, not terrain generator, the, the terrain tool. I will uh, go into more depth in later tutorials. So, let's get started. The flatten tool lets you set the height to whatever you want. Well, you pick your height. Let's say, let's put it on this little hill. And then, you go to flatten, and it'll be set to that height, and you can just... Let me turn up the hardness. It'll be at that exact same height every time. Well, whenever you hold it down. Push the land up. Rise and lower is what it says. It You could just change the size, well, the height of the ground, just by moving your mouse or clicking. Well, moving your mouse and holding the mouse button down. Um... Then there's smooth, which does also what it says. It does well, also what it says. The name is it smooths everything. It you run it over. Uh, a cool trick with the terrain tool is if you hold shift, it'll instantly put it on smooth. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else is there? Oh yes, if you don't want uh, very sharp heels, make the outside radius larger than your inside radius. That will make it to where the inside of it is changes more rapidly, but the outside changes slowly to adjust to it, giving you smoother heels. Okay, let's make a simple heel. I'm going to do a flatten. I'm going to raise the height about... Let's put it on 69 for the lulls. Uh, let's raise the inside brush a little bit larger, and then let's just run it over. This is more like a plateau. Uh, keep running it over, and then once you have that done, what I usually do is I use the rise, the rise lower tool and I just run along the uh, base of the land that I created. Let me turn up the hardness. And then I'll put some on top. I'm gonna get the rest of this. And then select the smooth, and you can go into detail, but I'm just going to uh, go like this. I'm going to turn up the hardness so it's in almost instant smooth. Oh, the same smooth like amount every time. And then the reason why I put the uh, the bumps underneath it is so when I'm like smoothing or when you're smoothing in my opinion it gives you a much more flowing heel than just smoothing it out unless you are trying to make a plateau and it may and you want erosion looks then although I cannot find the cliff texture for uh this little plateau thing you can give it like a little, just like this little thing right at the bottom like make it look like erosion has made it go down the hill um you finish off of this turn up the radius mm, there you go very simple natural looking hill <coughs> Uh, 
and thank you for watching this tutorial be sure to subscribe for more and like comment and and favorite I guess isn't that what everyone says kill for money starting out <laughs>